and winter is coming. We have frozen everything. I'm Megan and this is my husband Bo and our daughter Beckett. Join us on our journey as we relocate our family to raw land in beautiful northeastern Washington. Watch as we start from scratch and build the life we desire. Don't forget to like and subscribe. The insulation company, the spray foam insulation company is here today. They are working on spray foaming the house portion right now. The other insulation was finished while we were on a, um, while we were visiting, visiting some friends. The shop looks amazing. It, it looks so cool. And they covered it with this stuff. I don't even know what it is. I'll have to figure it out. Um, but it's white. So it's really bright and open. There's not any windows in the shop. And so it really helps make the space um, look brighter. And you know, there's no lights in there yet either. So. It looks killer. Very excited, very happy with the way it turned out. They did a really good job cleaning them up. Up after themselves too. I don't know how many contractors you guys have worked with, but sometimes they just leave stuff laying everywhere. Garbage, everything, and it's so obnoxious. So I was very impressed and pleased that they cleaned up so well after themselves. It's also officially, what? Oh, there's a hole? That's yeah. the hole for our power trench, see? Another hole. Come here, I'll help you. Why? Whoa, Beanie just jumped it. One, two, three. Oh no. Sorry, we're on our way out to feed the chickens. Um, it's officially November 1st. And winter is coming. We have frozen everything. Uh, it's cold. I think it's only 32 degrees out right now. Our low last night was 26, which isn't that bad. But again, remember we're living in a camper. We're not planning to stay in the winter, so we haven't skirted it. Um, we did insulate our hose, but that doesn't mean that our water doesn't freeze. Luckily last night we kind of let the water drip all night and that helped keep it from freezing. But about two weeks ago, we did have frozen hose every single night. So we'd make, luckily our tank in the camper was full, but the hose um, froze. And so we didn't have water until the sun got it nice and warm for the day. So we're hoping, we're really hoping, you know, like two weeks and we can be in. The floor in the camper is so cold. We all have to wear slippers all the time. Oh, the chickens know I'm here to feed them. What you doing in there, ladies? And gentlemen. <laughs> I know Finley sounds vicious, but he's really not. <laughs> he's got to have some sort of defense mechanism against the giant dog. So he just growls at him. Here he comes. Ain's got the zoomies. <laughs> Careful. Look at those cute lions. Goofy baby.
pretty cool. It's going to be in the whole house portion. And as you can see behind me, the shop is fully insulated as well. It looks so awesome. I'm so glad that this, the covering was white. Honestly, I thought the pink insulation was just gonna be hanging out everywhere and it's not. Um, but it turned out really nice. They did a great job. They cleaned up after themselves. What mess is left in here is ours, so that's our fault. But give you a quick little show of the insulation. It's definitely already made a bigger difference with the temperature in here. Don't get me wrong, it's still chilly. There's no heat in here yet. And it is freezing outside, but there's the shop. And then this is our um, dividing wall. I'm <laughs> the bike chair. Um, and so they're working in our master bedroom right now with the spray foam. And then um, this wall will have to be a different, it has to be fire rated insulation. So I'm not sure what we're doing for that or if it's one of these two options. I, I don't know. That's those category. <laughs> but um, when they're done for the day, Bo and I have to finish a few things that we didn't. There are some boards that we had to take out actually in order to put in our floor joists and I beams. And we haven't put them back in yet. And so we need to get them put it back in because they're actually the boards that the sheet metal on the outside of the house screws into. So we gotta get those put back in tonight before they come back tomorrow to finish insulating. The spray foam will be the whole house portion. So I'm excited to have that done. Well, we've officially went from moon dust to a muddy mess. It's a good thing I got muck boots. <laughs> I'm not sure what's worse. Oh, the joys. Clean water, food, fresh bedding. Should be set. Is that the kind of insulation that'll go downstairs? Like on that whole wall, I guess? No, this is where getting spray foam. Is that gonna be sound proof enough? Yeah. Way more sound proof than that. Probably don't need them all up here, huh? We could start with three of them down there or something. Just like overhang it? Or hook them to our wall down there. I'm getting hot. Stretch up. I turn there when you're done. Head back towards me. Okay. I could go farther. Well, I'd like to get them out here too. Half 
throwing in the buggy. Shut this light off. I love this light. Milwaukee. It's like a triple, triple beaner, adjustable, telescoping. Bad son of a. It's dark quickly now. It's about 5.30. Getting a little dark. Oh God. We got one more two before to put over there. And I'll hang these lights up. With each day comes progress. We may be slow, but we are fortunate that we can do this for our family. The insulation is not quite complete, however, working inside as the temperatures drop has been a blessing. <laughs>